Welcome to the 5-minute lessons on the power of visuals, where today we will be covering the Gestalt Principles. Now, what are the Gestalt Principles? Well, they are a set of principles that specify how a human brain finds order and organization among disorder in visual objects. The human brain informs the eyes by perceiving a series of individual elements in a visualization as an overall whole. Of the Gestalt principles of visual perception, we will only be focusing on four, which are listed here, similarity, proximity, closure, and connection. Starting off with the principle of similarity, humans perceive that visual items that are the same color, shape, size, and so on belong to the same group. So this example here demonstrates principle of similarity using color where on the left-hand side, we can see columns, but on the right-hand side, we can see rows. Here is another example of the principle of similarity, this time using shapes. So again, on the left-hand side, we see columns, and on the right-hand side, we see rows. Here is another example of the principle of similarity, this time using size. So on the left-hand side, our eyes perceive the smaller boxes as columns, where on the right-hand side, our eyes perceive the smaller boxes as rows. Moving on to the principle of proximity, this states that humans perceive visual items that are close to one another in space as belonging to the same group. So on the left-hand side, all the boxes are fairly close to one another, so we see that as one large group where on the right-hand side, the gap in between the boxes makes us see this visualization as having two separate groups. When designing visuals, it's important to know that the principle of proximity overrides the principle of similarity, which was the first principle we covered. In the left-hand example, the principle of similarity displays the different colored groupings as rows but on the right-hand side, those rows are no longer as apparent due to the large gap in space in between the two boxes, causing them to be perceived as two different groups, which demonstrates how the principle of proximity can override the principle of similarity. The next principle is the principle of closure, and the best way to describe this is that brains like things to be simple, and they want to fit visualizations into constructs that are already present in our brains. So these shapes are drawn out with dotted lines, but our brain fills out the missing parts so that we automatically see the full complete shape. Here are two examples of real life logos that utilize the principle of closure. All right, so the last principle that we'll cover today is the principle of connection. And this is where people think of objects that are physically connected as belonging to the same group. So on the left hand side, brains perceive the vertical connection between the shapes as columns. And on the right hand side, brains perceive the horizontal connection between the shapes as rows. Now this principle also overrides the principle of similarity. The left hand side, the similar shapes and colors, our brains perceive those as rows following the principle of similarity. But as soon as those vertical links between the shapes are added on the right hand side, our brain no longer perceives rows, but instead columns, which represents how the principle of connection can override the principle of similarity. Now that we've covered a couple of the Gestalt principles, let's go further into their origin. The Gestalt principles of visual perception is one of the most important foundations of understanding how people perceive visual objects. Gestalt is a German word meaning unified whole, and the first group of Gestalt principles were proposed in the 1920s by a group of German psychologists. Overall, at its core, the Gestalt principles show how our brains impose a higher order on visual displays, constructing a structure out of seemingly unordered items. It represents how our brains love simple and orderly visual patterns. Now you might be wondering, why do our brains love these simple and orderly patterns so much? And when we look at oxygen consumption in the human body, 
the brain accounts for about 20% of the body's energy consumption, despite only representing 2% of its weight. So this means whenever our brain is looking at visualizations, it's always trying to simplify and find shortcuts to preserve some of that energy. That concludes today's video on the power of visuals utilizing the Gestalt principles. Thank you for watching and please tune in to another video where we focus on applying the Gestalt principles with color.